The Wii U is a great game system out of the box, but once you jailbreak it, you unlock its hidden potential. Thankfully, Tiramisu makes this easier than ever. All you have to do is shuffle a few files around to your SD card, visit a special website, and presto, instant jailbreak. Fire up your Wii U and your PC. Let's jailbreak your own Wii U together. You'll need an SD card formatted in FAT32 format for this process to work. I have some quality cards from reputable brands linked for you in the video description. Also, you'll need to have your Wii U connected to either the wired or wireless internet. This video guide is largely based on the written guide over at wiiu.hacks.guide. I have the guide linked for you in the video description so you can follow along. The best way to make sure that these guides stay up and running is to give a small donation while you're there. I've given them a donation and I hope that you'll consider doing the same while you visit the site. Check out the link in the description shown here. Tiramisu couldn't be any easier to download. Just visit the website for Tiramisu in the video description, then click the big green bar right in the middle of the screen that says Download Tiramisu. It will download the most recent version of the software to your computer in zip format. Next up, let's grab some key downloads from the GitHub. Blue Pair lets you pair Bluetooth enabled controllers with your Wii U. To get the software, scroll down to the Assets section on the page and then click on the zip file underneath Assets shown here. Next up is the Homebrew App Store. As the name implies, it lets you install Homebrew applications directly to your jailbroken Wii U. Scroll down on this page once again until you see the Assets section. You'll want to take a look for a very specific download file inside Assets. It's this file shown near the bottom of the screen that's called Wii U Extract to SD. Locate this file inside Assets and then click on it to download the zip file to your computer. Next up on the list is Save Me. This lets you manage saved game files on your jailbroken Nintendo Wii U. Just like with the other GitHub pages, scroll down to the Assets section and locate the latest version of saveme.zip. Click on the file to download it to your computer. Next up is a file called 01sigpatches.rpx. You'll need this file as part of the Tiramisu setup process. Just like with the other GitHub pages, scroll down to Assets. This file is not in compressed file zip format. It's a .rpx file. Locate it inside Assets and click on it to download it to your computer. Next on the list is the unusually named UFD. So UFD actually stands for Update Folder Delete. We'll take a look at why this is necessary in just a moment. Scroll down on the page to Assets and locate the zip file for the latest version of the software. Click on it to download it to your computer. That's everything you need to download. Let's go sort it all out. For starters, go ahead and open up a new file explorer window and navigate to your downloads folder. You'll find five zip files in here and the one RPX file. You'll need to unzip every single one of the zip files that you downloaded. Right click on each of the zip files, select extract all, then extract each of the zip files into their pre-established folder locations. After you unzip each of the zip files, I think it's a good idea to right click on them and click delete in order to get them out of your downloads folder. And remember, anything that you delete is still archived for you in your recycle bin should you need it. I find it easiest to shuffle files from the downloads folder to the SD card by just setting them up as two separate file explorer windows. So to that end, I'll grab the file explorer window for downloads and snap it into place on the left side of the screen. If you haven't already, go ahead and remove the SD card from the front of your Nintendo Wii U and then insert it into the SD card reader on your computer. In this case, the SD card is newly formatted in FAT32 format. Once the File Explorer window for the SD card appears, snap it into place on the right side of the screen. No matter whether you have pre-existing content on your SD card or a completely blank one like this one, this guide will work just fine. Cool, let's get started copying the content over from the Downloads folder to the SD card. You can start with the first folder, which is Blue Pair. Grab everything that you see inside the Blue Pair folder and then just drag and drop it right onto the root of the SD card. Just like with the zip folders, once you're done with the contents inside the uncompressed folders, you can delete them. Go back to the downloads folder and you can right click on the blue pair folder and select delete. Next up is the environment loader folder. This is where Tiramisu is located. Double click into the environment folder. Inside here, you'll find another folder that's titled Wii U and a file. Grab both of these and drag and drop them directly onto the root of your SD card. If you're prompted, select Replace from the list of menu choices. That way you can merge any files along the process from any of the Wii U folders that are coming up. Go back to the Downloads folder and you can right click on the Environment folder and delete it. Next up is Save Me. Double click on the Save Me folder, but this time you're not going to have a Wii U folder inside here. You'll need to locate this folder properly on the SD card. 
To do this, go to the Wii U folder on the SD card and double click into it. From here, you can grab the Save Me folder and just drag and drop it directly on top of the Apps folder. This will copy the Save Me folder inside Apps. Go back one level in Downloads and you can right click on the Save Me folder and delete it. Once you've deleted the Save Me folder, be sure to go back to your SD card and go back one level in the navigation structure to the root of the card. Next up is the interestingly named UF Dean folder. Double click into it and you'll find a Wii U folder. Just like with the others, grab the Wii U folder and drag and drop it on the root of your SD card. Then you can go back one level in the navigation structure and downloads and then right click on the UF Dean folder and delete it. Next up, you've got this folder called Wii U Extract to SD. That's the Homebrew App Store folder. Double click into it and once again, you'll find a Wii U folder. Grab the Wii U folder and drag and drop it right onto the root of the SD card. Then you can go back one level in navigation and delete the Wii U Extract to SD folder. The goal is to make as many of these processes of copying and pasting files as painless as possible. There is, however, this one file, and it's not in zip format, it's in RPX format. We've got to put it in the right place on the SD card. Start by double clicking on the Wii U folder. Inside this folder, you'll find a folder called Environments. Locate the folder and double click into it. Inside the Environments folder, you'll find a Tiramisu folder. Locate that folder and double click into it. There's only one subfolder here and it's called modules. Locate the modules folder and double click into it. And finally, there's a subfolder here called setup. Locate setup and double click into it. This is where the 01 sigpatches.rpx file needs to live. Grab it from the downloads folder and drag and drop it over into the setup subfolder. Just like with the uncompressed folders, you can now delete the RPX folder by right clicking on it and sending it to the recycle bin. Be sure to subscribe while you're here so you don't miss out on great original video game modding content when it's posted to the channel. You're done with your computer for now. You can remove the SD card from your computer and reinsert it back into the SD card slot on your Wii U. For the next part of this process, you'll need to access the web browser on your Nintendo Wii U. From the home menu of the Wii U, tap on the globe to access the web browser. On the Wii U gamepad, tap in the address bar location and then enter the following web address, wiuexploit.xyz, w-i-i-u-e-x-p-l-o-i-t.xyz. Once you have the address entered, tap the go button in the bottom right corner of the touchscreen to continue. This will take you to the Wii U exploit website. To launch the exploit process, you can either tap on the button that says run exploit from the Wii U gamepad, or if you have a Wii sensor bar connected, you can use a Wii mote to tap on the button through the television screen. Press and hold the B button on the Wii U gamepad as soon as you launch the exploit, and you'll be taken to a series of payloads you can run. You'll want to create a backup of your Wii U's NAND or flash memory before you do anything else with this process. To do this, use the D-pad to move that arrow down to NAND Dumper and select NAND Dumper with the A button. When the NAND Dumper app menu appears, you can just use the default settings. Press the A button to start the NAND Dumping process. Take a look on the Wii U gamepad. You'll see a status indicator showing the progress of your system backup. Once the NAND Dump process is complete, your Wii U will be restarted and returned to the main menu. Once again, you'll need to launch the web browser and go back to the Wii U exploit page. Select the globe icon to launch the internet browser, type in wiuexploit.xyz again, and in the bottom right corner, tap the Go button to continue. From the Wii U exploit page, once again, select Run Exploit, but this time on the Wii U gamepad, after you select Run Exploit, press and hold the B button on the Wii U gamepad. This takes you to the environment loader. There's a blue highlight border around the listing for installer, Use the A button on the Wii U gamepad to select Installer. This takes you to a menu system called the Payload Loader. The first listing in the menu is called Check. You'll see that there's a highlight arrow next to it. Select it with the A button. The very first listing in the next submenu is called Install slash Update and the highlight arrow should already be defaulted to it. Select it with the A button. Take a moment to read the notice on screen, then use the D-pad to move the highlight arrow from back down to install and select install with the A button. The installation process only takes a moment and once it's done, you'll see a confirmation message on screen. Press the A button on the Wii U gamepad to shut down your system. Then power your Wii U system back on to go back to the Wii U home menu. You'll need to go back to the environment loader, but you don't have to use the web browser exploit to do it any longer. 
Instead, navigate up to the Health and Safety app, the big yellow triangle with the exclamation mark in the middle, and tap on it on the gamepad or select it on screen. Back at the Environment Loader, with the blue highlight border around Installer, select Installer with the A button on the Wii U gamepad. Just like before, with the highlight arrow on Check, select Check with the A button. This time, use the D-pad to move the highlight arrow down to Boot Options and select Boot Options with the A button. In the sub-menu that appears, the highlight arrow should already be set to Switch to Payload Loader. Select it with the A button. The process takes only a moment and you'll see a confirmation message on screen. Press the A button to shut down your Wii U once again. Power the system back on and you'll automatically boot to the Environment Loader. At this point, we want to tell the system that you want to launch Tiramisu every time you boot your system. To do this, move the blue highlight border down with the D-pad to Tiramisu and press the Y button. This will change the yellow highlight over to Tiramisu, indicating that it will boot every time that you boot your Wii U system. With Tiramisu selected, press the A button to continue. You might see a red screen with a warning message indicating that updates are not being blocked. If you get this message, don't worry, we're going to correct this in an upcoming step. For now, just press the A button to continue. You'll be asked which of these three options you want to launch after you launch Tiramisu. It makes the most sense, especially starting off, to launch the Wii U menu itself. The blue highlight borders already selected over Wii U menu. Just like you did with Tiramisu, press the Y button on the Wii U gamepad to make this change. Then press the A button on the Wii U gamepad to lock in this change and boot to the Wii U main menu. We'll need to block system updates so that an official system software update doesn't mess up your Tiramisu installation. To do this, click Me Maker from the Wii U main menu. This will launch the Homebrew Launcher. Remember how we copied that UFDean folder over to your SD card? The one that stands for Update Folder Delete Tool? Navigate to it with the Wiimote or tap on it with the Wii U gamepad. From the launch screen, select Load on the Wii U gamepad or select it with the Wiimote. If the software reports that you have an update folder, all you have to do is press the A button on the Wii U gamepad to delete it. This will block any future official system software updates from being installed to your system. Once you're done, press the Home button on the Wii U gamepad. This will take you back to the Homebrew Launcher. We need to back up the contents of your SD card, especially since it has a backup of your system NAND. To do this, on your computer, right-click on your desktop, select New, and select Folder. You can name the folder anything you want, so long as you'll remember that it's the contents of your Wii U's SD card, including your system NAND backup. You can store this folder anywhere you'd like, but for now, I'm just going to store it on the desktop. Power off your Wii U, remove the SD card from the system, and insert it back into the SD card reader for your computer. Once the File Explorer window with your Wii U's SD card appears, you can drag over every single one of the files and folders that you see inside the SD card. Then drop all of the selected files into the Wii U backup folder on your computer. Once the backup is complete, you're done with your computer. Remove the SD card from your computer and put it back into the SD card slot at the front of your Wii U. It's great that you have your Wii U jailbroken, but there's another step you can take to add a whole new set of value to your Tiramisu jailbroken Wii U. Check this out. Learn how to install Aroma on your newly jailbroken Nintendo Wii U. That video is shown on screen and linked in the description and pinned comment. I'll see you there.